up everyone it's your boy welcome back to another video if you're a pendulum player you face a lot of the problems that a lot of us pendulum players do and that is you actually go on dates with girls so since you go on dates with girls you would like to save uh you know maybe not spend 500 dollars on Yu-Gi-Oh cards maybe spend it in between all your nine girlfriends so if you're in that same situation as a lot of us i got you a budget pendulum deck that is still the best deck who needs appalooza when your opponent is the only loser. Who needs Magician Souls? The only soul I need is the one I'm ripping from my opponent's body when he sees 10 negates, baby. Bunch of pendulums and it's still the damn best deck. So if you're ready for this video, let's get this video to 500 likes and let's smash the subscribe button and hit 30,000 subscribers. And more importantly than all of that, I'm telling you guys for the good of you guys, instead of spending 500 bucks on five Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that are probably eventually going to be reprinted. Spend $20, sign up for the Trip Gaming membership, and learn how to play Pendulums perfectly. This weekend, I'm releasing five videos, including the deck profile of this video I'm going to show you on how to play budget Pendulums properly and for noobs. So sign up now. It's a way better investment than literally any $100 Yu-Gi-Oh card. With that being said, let's go straight into the video. You know what time it is? It's combo time! Let's go! I'm hyped. Everyone thinks that when Celine comes out, you need to play three souls. That is just wrong. You don't need to play three souls. In fact, because Celine is so broken, you don't even need to play Appalooza. You just need to play the deck correctly and perfectly. And I'm not going to show you exactly how. As I said, if this in any way confuses you, don't spend 100 bucks on souls. Sign up for the trick game membership. Learn how to play the deck correctly, and then eventually, when you win a bunch of tournaments with this deck, after learning how to play correctly, you can dish out the money for it. Alright, let's go. So, this is the hand. I can do 20 hands in a row. I have a bunch of hands that show the end negates with budget pendulums, but I'm going to show you guys one now. I'm going to go very slowly, then I want you guys to actually understand it. In previous combo tutorials, I did not go slowly, and maybe some of the new players out there didn't really understand. But this is a budget list. Hence, I'm going to go as slow as possible so you understand everything. Now, with a hand like this, obviously you want Servant to resolve. But you got to realize Crowley is a card. You have Secrets, but there's lots of Star as a card. I'm pretty sure with this hand, we could resolve Servant and Reflection. So you got to marry how many spells you have. We have Secrets, which equals two spells. Two spell counters. Two ma spell power Mastery equals two spell counters. So your scale equals one counter, so that's five counters right there. So five counters, I know I can resolve Reflection and Servant. So we're going to activate Reflection first instead of using Mastery without Reflection and Scale and putting Servant in the Scale. Does that make sense for you guys? So we're going to put Reflection first because we know we can resolve Servant as well. If we cannot resolve Servant and we need the extra card, we will not re activate Reflection first. Mastery, get Servant. Next, we're going to not activate Secrets, we're going to activate Servant instead. Why? Because your opponent cannot activate any hand trap on Reflection. You cannot Ash a Reflection effect, you cannot Ogre a Reflection effect. And I'll show you guys in the deck profile on Patreon how many, we play more than one Reflection. I'll explain why in a budget build you have to play more. But this is very different than, than Selene Pendulums with Souls. You have to flood the graveyard and Reflection allows you to do that, I'll show you how. Now you're going to activate Reflection effect to bring up Jackal. Uh, Jackal will be able to store counters forever. Now you activate secrets. You guys see what I, how I said? You have to calculate how many spell counters you could have. So we knew we could resolve Reflection and Servant, so we put Reflection first. Next, we get Blue Boy out, put the counters on the field, draw two. Now, we're going to have five, one, and two. Jackal's on the field, hence if Servant cannot get ashed. If he ogres Servant, fantastic. But... We would rather, instead of desiring off the bat, you want to resolve the Cerberus to get out as many Jackals as possible from your deck in case Desires banishes it all. So we're going to activate the Cerberus there. Never clog your scale with Servant and Cerberus like I did there unless you have a Jackal to protect from Ash Blossom. Now, we're going to bring out Mighty Master with this and Cerberus is going to bring out a Jackal. There's a reason you're bringing out a Mighty Master. Without Magician's Souls, pay close attention. What I'm about to say right now is basically the most important thing in this entire video, okay? Without Magician... Like, this is the $1,000 information for you guys. Without Magician Souls in a budget list, you must find ways to put negates in the graveyard. You must find ways to put Mighty Master, Jackal, or Reflection in the graveyard. Do you guys understand that? So, 
we are going to prioritize making Absolute Dragon. Now, this hand merits us making Absolute Dragon before the Pendulum Summon. And our Pendulum Summon is not even going to be that good. Why? Because we already have five monsters on the field and we didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. A lot of you wouldn't have even seen these plays, but it's fine. We can actually put six monsters on board without Pendulum Summoning by activating Mighty Master, using its effect by removing all the counters, and because it has four counters on the field, Mighty Master will target Cerberus. Cerberus won't die because there's four or more counters on the field. And you like that, you have six cards on the field, you didn't even Pendulum Summon. That is ridiculous. That is just like next level. Anyways, you don't need Souls or Appalooza to play a good Pendulum deck. As long as Jackal and Money Master are under five bucks, you got yourself a very budget Pendulum deck. Now, next, we're going to go into a Link 2. Not Mascarena, because this is a budget deck. We're going to go into Crowley, because we, or just any generic Link 2 doesn't matter, to create space. Now we're going to go into Absolute Dragon. Now, this is how you put monsters in the graveyard. As I said at the beginning of the video, Mighty Master and Reflection are now going to go in the graveyard, which is very vital, okay? I cannot stress that enough. Because Selene is the most broken card that Pendulum has ever seen since Electrum. It is better than Servant. I am not even joking you. This card is just broken. Now, before we go into Selene, you always want to put scales uh, because Selene will get spell counters for the scales. Now, if you calculate, you have one, two... Three, four, five, six spell counters for free, plus the 15 that Jackal has. Now, you're gonna. Sorry, it was a little uh, quick there. I'm gonna explain what I just did. Vortex comes up from Absolute Dragon. And now, if you look at the extra deck, you can only pendulum summon the Jackal. So, we're gonna spend some of the. We could have Lake summon the Jackal King and leave a servant on the field, but it doesn't do any good for you, anyways. And it's gonna clog your board. We only pendulum summon one monster, just the Jackal, but that's totally cool. We're going to use Selena Effect to remove 3 counters from Jackal. It had 15 before, now it has 12. And Abductor has 1 counter as well, by the way. The special, the Mighty Master from the Graveyard that we brought from... That's why you got to Absolute. You must, instead of Souls sending cards to the Graveyard, you must XYZ. So if you have 2 level 7s, you must go into Absolute Dragon. That's not debatable. Because you get a free Vortex and both of these cards come back. Uh, what people don't realize is Reflection is now broken with Selene. Because you get special reflection on your opponent's turn with Selene's effect. And reflection will get its effect to bounce a card your opponent controls and bounce a card you control. This is very important. Now, the turn is still not over. We're going to activate the Mighty Master effect in the scale to remove five, six counters from Jackal to special and destroy the abductor. Now we have, look at this, budget pendulum. You still have six, five interruptions. It, actually, six. Because after Mighty Ma Master... This is why Selene and Mighty Master are so broken. It seems like your scales, your, your, your zones under Selene are clogged, right? They're not. Because Mighty Master on your opponent's turn is going to negate a spell or trap to bounce a card. And when one of these get bounced, Reflection is then going to get something on your opponent's th turn through Selene. Broken. That is six interruptions with budget pendulums. Five uh, real negates. Three Omni negates. Two Masa negates. You don't want to have all five spell trap negates. So it's like, this is five Omni negates to me. Five negates, and just in case they play some shit like, I don't know, Conductor, bounce, bounce, nice try. You want to have at least one card that's not a negate on the field for cards like Conductor, or cards that just, like, attack everything. So, yeah, nice try, buddy. Your deck, every deck sucks compared to this. This is the $50 budget version, too. This is the, the random Pendulum Scraps, uh, Pendulum, generic Pendulum cards with no card in that deck worth more than... Five bucks, except for Selene. I don't know how much Selene is going to be worth. This is excluding Selene. But if you play Pendulum, you want to play Selene. This card is, I'd rather three Selene than one Electrum. That's how damn broken this card is. Now I'm going to take this time again to say, if you're confused at any time throughout this video, sign up for the Patreon. Not even for me, man. I'm saying for you guys. I want to create a crazy Pendulum community on the Patreon. Not just for me, but a gigantic community of hundreds of members. And just make it... Like, I want to post 20. You have no idea how many pendulum videos I have, but I can't post all of it on YouTube. Otherwise, you guys will get too flooded. But for the too flooded with videos. But for the people that actually love videos, I intend to eventually, when we get more members on the Patreon, post 20 videos a week of pendulum content, and I love it. It's not too much work for me. I I have 50 videos. Like I duel so much online, you have no idea. I can post 50 videos if I want to, but it'll just be too much content for YouTube. So if you guys love Pendulum, really want to learn about it, and if you're a noob, consider signing up. It is a 10 times better investment than a Magician Souls, I'll tell you that. 
That's the video, guys. If you have any questions, message me on Patreon where I do respond to all questions pendulum related. That being said, pendulum best deck, baby. Let's go. Hope you guys like this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.